a little bit of water on here, right? Give it a little, little soakage here. No glove, no love. Always use protection. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we gotta throw a little protection on, boys, because we are back at it with the Charger. Not the Chevelle, but the Charger. Remember the last freaking episode, whatever you want to call it, vlog. We ran into the issue where wrong tranny fluid right but i got the new stuff i got the right stuff guys this stuff right here though oh lord this is the stuff i guess we need to be using and not freaking cheap like i don't understand why this is so expensive boys like it's just crazy this thing is 30 dollars a quart from the dealership like i don't understand let me know you guys if you guys have an alternative for this stuff if there's like somebody else that sells it and a lot less for a lot less it's it's not even red like the other one the other one was red obviously it's like an atf or traditional transmission fluid this stuff is like a almost very oily base kind of looks like almost like a power steering fluid almost but um that's the stuff and it's probably gonna tend between i don't know probably like 10 and 12 quarts something like that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out that torque converter real quick and then pour pour at least two quarts of that maybe in there and then see if we can get the tranny back in. Many unbearable hours later. No, but you just sitting there, you ain't even gonna help, bro. You ain't even gonna help, huh? I see how you guys. Guys, this is the look of frustration bro i'm telling you this car oh lord now i just spent the last two hours trying to figure out why i couldn't get this bell housing to go back on here and like sit on the dial pins correctly it was just making me mad guys making me frustrated not to mention this freaking plate just keeps falling off every time you touch it but um I couldn't get the tranny to, like to go on there properly like I felt like it should go very easily and the bolt should thread in very easy like it shouldn't be forced right and as soon as I felt that like it was being forced guys I was like there's something wrong I kept messing with it adjusting it bringing the transmission up bringing the transmission down um, adjusting the back of the transmission to maybe you know level that out or something just to make sure there's no tension on the bolt or anything like that and they still could not figure out what the hell is going on and long story short it didn't dawn it didn't dawn on me that when we got this car or I should say this transmission and motor package um he bought it from somewhere back east i don't know who it was i don't even think it was somebody reputable or anything like that i think it was just like a ebay special or something like that and and it came in a pallet and the transmission and the motor was separate and long story short it came with a manual transmission flywheel boys and i didn't think nothing of it i mean i guess i i did actually about what four or five months ago something like that when we first got this project we even started it and i that's when i was like, you know what i think this had a manual transmission or it was two different cars because the tranny doesn't match the motor and vice versa and it didn't dawn on me because we bought a new flex plate because we had to get this one for the automatic but look at this crap, you guys. I totally forgot about the stupid, stupid pilot bearing. I'm so frustrated because I was sitting there messing with it and I could not get this thing to go on and sit flush because look, the torque converter has this little nub right here that that's where it rides in. So if this guy is sitting dead center of that, and in theory, a manual transmission the input shaft should go right through it and that is not an input shaft boys that is not going to work so we got to remove this crap after two and a half hours of messing with it so um i don't know if you guys ever seen i don't have no special tool for this all i got is some bread boys i don't know if you guys ever seen this done before but it does work believe it or not i'm gonna put a little bit of water on here right give it a little little soakage here and you literally just stuff pieces of bread inside the pilot bearing and then you take a bolt i had to put some tape on it because um this bolt is not 
big enough the outer diameter is not big enough to go into that bearing but look if we're actually going to take this bread and we're going to jam it jam it huh we need some jam huh we're going to just stick it in here until it gets nice and stuff and then we're going to take that bolt and we're going to basically push the bread down almost like uh what's the word i guess basically make it to where there's nowhere else for that bread to go but behind the bearing and with the bowl it basically pushes that bread on the back of the the bearing and it pushes it out so now we're going to take our uh, bowl and hammer it and try to get some of that bread behind the bearing in order for it to come out it does work though it is messy boys it is definitely messy but it works a little bit more bread in there Starting to come out, boys. Oh, come on. Push it real good. Looks, it's almost out, boys. But I'm out of a, I'm out of already. I'm out of bread, boys. Let me see if I got one more piece of bread I can throw in there, cause that's a big bearing. Much, much, much later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new. Oh yeah, look at that boys. And that's ladies and gentlemen as how you make a sandwich. All right, you guys, it is the next day. We ran out of time yesterday, but I also went ahead through the transmission in here. Boys, it was night and day difference. It was so quick, so easy. Once we remove that throwout bearing, or I should say that um, pilot bearing, um, that definitely was the issue, boys. This thing was just not sitting flush and flat like it should, and it was just not going in very well with the guide pins. It just threw me off. It was kind of crazy, but this thing is sitting good, nice and flush like it should. We also went ahead and put in our starter, put that in there as well, um, routed our lines back up, cooling lines are back in, also got the cross ember back in here, boys that's all good to go that thing came out good what you guys think of this paint job boys not too shabby huh not too shabby but it is back in uh, we got our little wires ran as well up to the top um, we do have a custom um i guess you can call it an adapter it's like an adapter flange that's uh that we ordered for this i'll show you guys on the next video and also on the next video boys we got to get these headers put back in here we got them painted the other day but guess what if we do that maybe put some fluids in it we might be able to start it oh i gotta hook up the battery i got the batteries disconnected up front but guys hit the subscribe button right now cool all right then guys 
make sure you guys hit the like button and the bell for notifications and if you guys want to stay up to date and get an inside scoop boys give me a follow on instagram at ss goose on instagram but you guys already know stay wrenching